of going through a few formulas and functions. In this spreadsheet, which I just opened, it says there are circular references. We need to fix them. I'll click on the OK. We were adding the number supposedly from 22 to 91. The formula is showing B1 through B15. You can't put yourself in the formula. So we're going to add it. We click in here. We don't want to put the year in. I click changes just and then I will choose B9. Those are the things. It's going to give me this little green message. It wants to include the 2012, the year. You don't want that. Uh, you could just ignore it. It doesn't print out. You're doing statistics. Now, let's say you want to do the average. You're on auto sum. You click on the word average. Again, be careful. These are the cells to average. You can also type in such as equal max, left parenthesis, highlight, enter, equal min, Highlight these three, pull them over. You're getting all these little green things because it thinks you want to put the years in there. If I were to add a blank row in here, you lose them. But if you're trying to keep it tight, I'll just delete the row. You get the green things back. I want to go to the if statement. I want to talk about these formulas. What I'm saying here, I'm saving 7.5% if I'm earning more than 50000 otherwise only $200. So I'm going to go to formulas, logical, if. And the test is if this is greater than 50, oh, oh, oh. It's saying false. You can see it up in the formula bar. If true, I want to put in a formula. It's this times 7.5%. If it's false, I'm only putting in 200. I usually do not type the dollar signs or commas. If you go in here, you're saving time. I want to see if this works. It doesn't work. It's going to think you made a mistake. Do not put in the dollar signs. What you want to do here, I want to say, if my sales are over 200000 I want to put in a bonus, otherwise NA. So I'm going to go to logical. If I'm going to say greater than 200 if true, bonus, it put quotes around there. So, but watch this. If I say 200,000, it's still ain't at not applicable. But if you wanted to say 200,000 or more, it's greater than equal. Type that in. And, of course, I spelled bonus wrong. I just click on the formula and edit it, or I could click in here and I could fix the spell in there. Next one here is talking about the payment. You're buying a car. You want to know what the monthly payment is. A down payment is something you subtract. So it's th the purchase price minus that. So we have that. Now we want to do the monthly payment. It's the payment function. Financial, we find PMT. We have three things. The bold ones are the only ones that need to be filled in. So we're going to go into the rate. And since we're paying it monthly, we're going to divide it by the 12 payments per year. Often people just type in a 12. There will always be 12 months in a year. 
number of payments, five years. Multiply it because you're paying it every month. The present value, you want it to appear as a positive number. You're financing $19,000. Hit the minus sign and then OK. $356.38. And if you change this to like four years, the payment goes up. You put a bigger down payment, the payment goes down. The lookup, what it is, we have these people with a territory. We have this data range here. We're going to do the V lookup. I click on formulas again. I'm going to go to look up and reference V lookup. It's in columns. We want to put in the words that they're Connecticut mass or whatever. So the lookup value for Dave is a 10. The table array, don't put the captions in. I highlight just these cells. I need to make it a constant so it copies down. At this point, I hit the F4 key. It's done instantly. You got all the dollar signs. And you've got two columns, column one, column two. Column two is where this territory is. I type in a two. It's optional to put this in, but you want to say, because we don't have a 50, we want to just say false. And then I say OK, pull it down. And it's saying N-A for Phyllis. But let's say I give her a 10 for the number. She's now in Connecticut. I want to count the number of employees. There's six. You could hand count it. But if you have hundreds, not a good idea. And I'm saying use the correct count function. So what we do, we're going to go into more functions. And I'm going to do statistical. You got a couple of counts. Count counts only numbers. Count A is alphanumeric, those that are not empty. So I say the count A. So what I'm going to highlight is A9 through A14. I get 6. If I delete somebody, I now have five. I want to put it back in. Undo. Next one here. We're going to do the payment function again. We're going to do it with the months and a couple of little other things. So I want to do how the amount to finance equal this minus this. We have the three components, the amount of finance, the rate, the number of years. I'm not working with a cell reference for 12 months of the year. You can type the formula in. It's not that difficult. I type in equal PM, PMT, and it shows the things here. I type in the left parenthesis. You have this little bubble down here. So I'm going to go into the rate. Divide by 12. I hit the comma to separate it. We don't have the box. The number of years. I click in here, times 12. I hit the comma again. I want to know the present value of the loan. I want it to be a positive. Hit the minus. I go into here, I type in the right parenthesis or just press the enter key. So it's giving me what I'm paying every month on the house. Now what I want to do, this is the last formula. I want to know what percent of my gross income I'm spending on the mortgage. We have things both monthly and annually. So what you have to do is do a division based on annualized numbers. You have to use parentheses. So it's equal left parenthesis 
50,000 divided by 12, and then you're going to divide it by the monthly payment. And it looks really weird. Home percent. Wait a minute. I did the formula backwards. It should have been B8 divided by that. So if you get something that doesn't make sense, either delete, start the formula again, or you can edit it. So I'm going to type in E up here, B8 divided. And I just delete the stuff there. I'm spending 39% of my gross income on the mortgage. But wait, I don't want to spend that much. I'm going to find a house for a little bit less. I'm now spending 35%. I could also change the number of years to 30 it's going down. I might get a better rate. So it's down to 30%. I want to add a decimal point. It's actually 30.4%. Or I could increase my income. I get a raise. I'm now making 57000 Going down again.